Okay, so this is my haul from Central for Comic Con 2024 and my thoughts. Thoughts basically, it was an okay con. Some of the stuff basically they were selling there for the vendors, it wasn't wowing me very much at all. I was mainly there for the getting the voice actors. I got autographs from seven voice actors. Not four, seven. Okay? So let's start with what I got. I got a figure of the character of Hinata from That Time of Crimes of Slime. A Star Trek book. Two graphic novels. Yes, two graphic novels. Robin Hood, Volume 4. And Old Guard, Book 2. And last thing I bought was... And my mom was very so I was like, really? You bought this? A Rimu pillow! Look how cute it is. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> and also, we have some autographs. Yep. Now, I'll show up pictures of them all soon, but I'll show up basically what I got for autographs. I got the sign by Trina uh, Nishimaro. She plays Earjack. Yep. And you think, okay, where is she? Right there. Yep. This one here, but thou spoke Casper Rohan. I got Rohan's voice actor, Linda McDowell, so I right in the cover. This one got signed by Liz and Max, so her name is right there in the corner, and she plays uh Where is her character? Oh yeah, she plays the Talking Turtle Sungo. This one got signed by Rhea Barr. She plays Io Pierce for one episode. This one got signed by Ram's voice actor, Ryan Bartley. Yeah, her writing is the one in the pink. I was going to get basically the other two voice actors were there who were there from ReZero, but by the time I got to the lines, it was just too long. It was too late. So I decided not to worry about it. Saitama's voice actor from. Uh, it's, it's Max Milton. Also. I'll reveal some more stuff in a minute. And this it got signed by Jason Lemmerkin. Yeah, he was actually quite surprised to see this one. Uh, mainly because he had not seen DVD of this one before. Yeah, he does remember being in the show. And he was actually quite happy. Someone like me is a fan of something that's not as big as some of the other stuff. For him to sign. Because he was probably looking... He probably think, oh, maybe we're going to make it like Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, One Piece. Nope. Brought this one. Because he plays that one. He plays Carl. Uh, London McDowell, he basically was very happy I gave him physical media from the sign because he doesn't get much physical media to the Now, Ryan, very nice person to meet. And she was very happy. I also got to meet Brianna Kabaker, her co-star for the series. Ryan, a lot of the voice actors I've met, basically she's never met before. With the exception of, I think the person she does know is Kyle. Uh, Herbert, that's how I pronounce his last name. I did see, if you're curious, did I see Top Dada there? Because he was there too. Excuse me, he walked by me. Didn't say anything at all. Uh, Casper uh, Van Den, I think, I think his last name is, the star of Star Troopers. He was there too. Uh, saw him from a distance. Did not get an autograph from him at all. Listen, Maxwell, look great. Still, once again, didn't like the fact she's wearing a mask, but oh well. Uh, in the case of Trina, she was actually very happy I got into the Aristocrats Outworldly Adventure. She was very happy with that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And in the case of uh, Reba, she was quite surprised I got into the Ave Sun. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she said the reason we haven't gotten a season two is because it wasn't that popular. Yeah. And, of course, according to JC, he says, oh, yeah, there's more coming. Yeah, he, even he knows, basically, he realized more coming. I was found out from Landon that apparently that we're getting a... Now, I didn't know this. This has not been released from any social media, any media, whatever. I have not heard of this at all. But apparently, Chainsaw Man, despite the fact we may not be getting season two, as I think should, should be one, we're getting a Chainsaw Man movie. Yes, according to London McDonald, he said... There's a Chainsaw Man movie coming. 
News to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ryan Bartley just liked my uh, picture of us on on, twi on Twitter. Yep, I'm not calling it X. It's Twitter. I was for as Twitter. I am not afraid of as X. I like the fact she liked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, a lot of these voice actors, very nice people to meet. Uh, Jason, he had a bit of a line per se. But I didn't wasn't lying for too long per se. Not really. Uh, I did see some very interesting cosplayers. Oh, before I get to cosplayers, I have to talk about pictures. Me and Liz and Max Bell. And I even told her about my cousin. Yep. Here's uh, Trina Nishimura. Yep, sorry about the glare. Yeah, I even told her I got an ant with the same name. Yep. This is with Rhea Barr. And... I didn't mention this to her, but my mom, my grandma knows this too. She, I think she might be pregnant. Yes, Ryan, uh, Rhea Barr might be pregnant. I didn't ask her about it. Nope. But she definitely looks like she's pregnant. And finally, the, the picture I just got a like from on Twitter from Ryan Bartley. Oh, God, man, it's actually a very lovely woman. Yeah, and she was very happy the fact I got a chance to meet Brianna. The fact she got a chance now. Yeah, but overall, really good stuff here. Like, being the voice actors, that was fantastic. Loved me every single one of them. Uh, did I regret? Now, here's the thing. I was planning to get my uh, a plan to get an autograph from uh, Dan Green, the one voiced Yuki Moto from Yu-Gi-Oh! Charging 60 bucks for an autograph. Now, one, I did pay that, but... It was one, didn't really hurt anything, already spent like that much for a few combos, but London McDowell was like the cheapest one I paid for. Like I paid for him like forty bucks. Like really? Forty? Yeah, forty. And for him, just an autograph. He was one of two I just got autographs from. Let's see, I got four pictures. Let's see, I got from like I mentioned it was Elizabeth, Ryan, Reba, and Trina. I got all pictures with four of them. Uh London got just got just an autograph from him. And in the case of, of Jason, it was just basically the autograph. Now, he is... Now, he, of course, people don't knew, know him also. I mean, the reason why he had a bit of a long line, because this is the guy who voices Dobby from My Hero Academia. Yep. So, in the case of Len he, he he does know of Dick Manolia. I did mention briefly about him. Now... I told him, basically, he did a great job voicing Rohan, and I told him he did a good job, too. He appreciated that. The fact to give a compliment on it. Uh, absolute great guy to talk to. Um, the one, basically, that... Now, now Reba, she has met a lot of voice actors, per se, but she was... Not all that surprising, Demon Slayer. Just the fact, despite like her character for one episode, yeah, and she remembered her scene from the from the episode where the Sound Hashira picked up her character and basically spanked her on the butt. <laughs> yeah, she does remember that. Yeah, but that's pretty much the haul in a nutshell. It's not that big. Uh, didn't spend much money this time. Not really. But also, I have another Comic Con to go to in just two weeks. Just about two weeks. In Orlando. Mega Con Orlando. And this one, I'm not going to get any many autographs this time. Not not like seven like it was this time. Oh no, not seven. Let's see, it was four. I actually think it was six. Yeah, I think it was six because I got from Trina, Jason, Elizabeth. Uh, oh, because I got three. It, it, it actually was, it was seven. Yeah, because I got three guy ones. The girls basically, I got all basically pitched with them. Here's the strange thing though. Two of them basically around the same age. Elizabeth and Trina both 40. But they both look really good for their age. I didn't tell that Trina, but Elizabeth looked fantastic. Yep. But not really much else to say. Okay, so that's the specific view. Next up is going to be, well, I'm going to go straight to Eminence and Shadow. Okay, next view. Bye.